Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. Today, I will be talking about the common diving petrel, a small, dumpy looking bird that on first glance looks just like a penguin with the ability of flight. I hope you enjoy. Native to the coastal waters of New Zealand, common diving petrels, as their name suggests, are commonly found around the country, being found from the Three Kings Islands in the north to the Campbell Island in the south. There are three recognised subspecies in New Zealand, these being of the Northern Diving Petrel, Southern Diving Petrel and the Subantarctic Diving Petrel, each of which being found in their own distinct environments. Although they don't form dense flocks, hundreds of birds can often be viewed at one time, buzzing over the waves or on the water's surface. These birds do not call at sea, but are very vocal at night, both on and over their breeding grounds. Birds nest in short burrows, or under dense vegetation, with both parents feeding their single chick through regurgitation. Interestingly, the common diving petrels are one of the few petrel species that can lay a replacement egg if the first egg fails, which could be a factor that results in their high populations. Common diving petrels are remarkably similar in both appearance and behaviour to the little orcs of the Arctic seas, but the two are merely results of convergence evolution, as orcs are more closely related to gulls and terns, whilst petrels, like the common diving petrel, are closer to penguins. Birds are not attracted to boats like some other petrels are, and are non-migratory, staying around New Zealand waters throughout the year. They are also able to dive a remarkable 11 to 12 metres, and in some cases up to 64 metres, which for their small size is quite an impressive feat. More than a million pairs are known in the New Zealand region, although their high numbers are not always indicative of safety. Common diving petrels are extremely vulnerable to introduced predators such as rats, stoats, cats and weka, having been eliminated on many islands, including on Mangaree, Jackie Lee and the Solomon Islands. Over 700 birds were also killed by the Rainer oil spill in the Bay of Plenty in late 2011, accounting for most of the birds found dead. Overall, the population of common diving petrels has been noted to have decreased, although their high population and breeding habits mean that for now at least, common diving petrel populations, and therefore the species, are stable. And with that, I thank you for watching this episode of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you can vote for the Forbes parakeet, a parakeet that while looking very similar to the other New Zealand parakeets, has its own unique evolutionary history. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. See you later!